Obsidian already has a pop-out window that you can bring up with any panes or any tabs in. You can then create panes, so we've got one here. We can add another tab, drag it over and create another pane. Or, we, as you can see, we've got the tabs at the top. But now with the recent 1.1 Insider Build update, we now have a canvas option. If I hold down the mouse wheel, click and drag, I will be able to move around the canvas. If I hold control or space while scrolling with the wheel, I can zoom out and zoom in to the canvas. On the right side, I can zoom in by clicking the button, I can zoom out by clicking the button, or I can zoom to fit with the hotkey of shift plus one. And that will zoom to fit everything you have in the canvas in one space, sort of centralizing it. Down the bottom left, we have the options to add things to the canvas. So I can click and add any note. So let's go practice. That's added the practice note into the canvas. Yeah. I can click and drag it around. You can see it will align this card inside the canvas with things that are currently in the canvas. All four of the lines can then be dragged for sizing. So we can make it smaller, taller, wider, anything like that. We then get a dot on the side of the card, which we can link to any other card. So that's automatically connecting there. Let's connect that one over here and then connect it into there. And you can see as I change the size of the card, the arrows follow the size of the card. At the top of the card, you can remove the card or delete the card from the canvas, not from the vault, but from the canvas. You can set a color and here are the default colors. You can then zoom to select that card which will put the card as the main focus of the screen. And then you can click on edit or you can double click on the card to edit the file. So this is the practice.md file. I can then type whatever I want. Linking files, adding quotes and markdown options. Then if I go to the top right onto the name of the file and right click it, I get another option. I can edit the file, swap the file card with something else, or in this case, I want to open in a new tab. And you can see all the edits I made in the canvas view is in the practice file. If I then make an edit inside the file, you can see it syncs with the canvas because it's rendering this file inside of the canvas. If I zoom out and go somewhere else, you can actually see in this canvas we have a blank card. If you double click in a space, it will then create a card. It's not a file, just text information. You can tell this isn't a file because there's no file name at the top of the card. But if you right click on this, you can convert to a file. Name the file new note, select done, now when we open up our file explorer you can see we've got the new note in the vault folder and if we click on the new note there is the text that we added in the canvas instead of double clicking in a space if you click and drag you'll get a square and it'll highlight all the cards that's actually covered by that square and once everything is highlighted you can then bulk action so you can align zoom set the colors or delete. And in this case, if I click align, I then get align left, center, right, top, middle, and bottom. I've now aligned them all to the right and because they're all next to one another, they are literally on top of each other. So I can drag them out and move them around again. But that allows you to quick or bulk action any of the cards. So If we were to align those center now they are centered on that one line between the three of them which is very useful you may also notice that this is actually an image of this canvas before i'd started doing the video and you can tell it's an image because of the pasted image but what this means is you can bring in any image file into the canvas so if we go down to the bottom left drag to add media from vault we can drag here it's creating a card now it's going to select all of the media options inside of this vault so we have the canvas which is what we're currently in three other image files i happen to have in this test vault and then the canvas image i've renamed that so i can click it and now it's added that image to the canvas i can then increase the size of that image and add anything that i want around it 
And just like the other cards, you have the delete option, set color, and when you right click, you can swap the file out for another image. For the text card example, you can do that by dragging and dropping just a blank card onto the canvas. But just like these options down here, you can use the files core plugin, the start plugin, the recents plugin, anything with a file inside of a sidebar. If you click and drag it onto the canvas, it will create a card automatically. And if it's an image file, it will do the same thing. It will just create an image card. So we now have two new file cards and an image card inside of this canvas, which we can then move around and do whatever we want with. For the database folder users, because database folder reads this as an inline view, very much like when you were to embed it into a page, you still get the table view, but it's very limited in the functionality, such as group filters and everything else, but you can still get the results just like a data view query would show. But that's not all. Here is the Obsidian forum. So this is the online web page of the forum. And if I go in and grab the link, this is an external link. I can either drag it, I can copy and paste it. But when I put it into the canvas, it will actually embed the page. So if I close that down and bring up the Obsidian canvas further, you can see I now have that external link embedded into the Obsidian canvas. If I click on the release dates, it will go through to that page. And now I have the release dates of this update, this Obsidian release 1.1 Insider update. And then as another example, this is an external link to the YouTube video I had recently. That was a bad time to pause it. Let's just drag it back there. And I can play this video from my Obsidian canvas whilst potentially writing in something else. I'm sure there are other features and I'm finding out features as I go. But if I double click in a card, so I'm editing this file, I've now highlighted so I can copy all of this information. When I drag it out into the canvas, it then inserts that as a blank card. Very useful, potentially in the future, maybe even dragging it from one note to another note. Not available yet, but I'm learning as I go. There are lots of other things in the update, such as dragging and dropping things in the ribbon, actually removing some of the commands from the ribbon, which I previously did with a community plugin called Commander. And they've also added an option to support some of the developers. You can see in the calendar plugin, there is now a donate button. So instead of them having to put it at the bottom of the readme, which is a bit of a scroll, it's actually a default button at the top, which they're going to customize in the future. So this isn't exactly set, but this is the idea they're moving towards. I want to make it clear and obvious that this is an insider build like a, a beta release and it's inside the catalyst license package so you need to pay and essentially support or ask for these features to be available inside of obsidian at the moment it will be released to the public when things have been ironed out and some other uh, updated features come in so that's an update from me let me know if you have any questions or if you have any concerns or maybe even thoughts about how they could develop this for the future